Hi Scorpio, welcome to your April 2022 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Scorpio. This will not resonate with every Scorpio that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Scorpio, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Scorpio. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Scorpio and cross watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Scorpio, let's get this reading started. I will be using my sound bowl to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's happening for my Scorpions in the month of April in love and romance. And for this reading, Scorpio, I am tuning into an energy that's in or around your energetic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this moment. Whether you are single or you're taken, whether you're together with this person or apart from this person, let's see what energy is coming through and why they're coming through for you in your April reading. Let's see. Tell me about the energy that surrounds Scorpio right now, Spirit. I'm already seeing the letter K, as in Kyle, as in Karina. First, middle, last initial can mean something to someone. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Scorpio, Spirit. Here and now. Okay. And it says, your true love is already a part of your life. So, you know, different than Taurus is reading, this doesn't feel like new love, someone that you just met or haven't met yet. And I feel this is someone who you do have feelings for, who you are in love with currently, and who's in love with you. This is reciprocated energy. Um, and so Scorpio, I feel for this purpose, some of you have been wondering about this person, if this is your soulmate, if this is the true love of your life meant to be. The person that is coming through here, yeah, okay, this person has significance. They're meant to be in your life for a reason, and I feel that reason is to fulfill a soulmate contract between the two of you. You've already met them. Um, you know, if this is someone you're from your past you're not ready to talk about, you don't want to talk about, I would save time and click out of this video now. But this feels like... You, Already, there's a strong connection between the two of you. And even a lot of you, you're already envisioning this person, who exactly they are. You know who I'm talking about. And here's confirmation for you. Yeah, this person is special. Yeah, this person is meant to be something significant in your life. Yeah, you guys are soulmates. There's confirmation. So I don't know if you're just figuring that out right now. Maybe there's going to be some progression here in the connection between the two of you. But there is something about the current energy right now that's attracted to you, that you're attracted to, that spirit wants to bring forward right now. So let's see. What do they think about Scorpio right now? How do they feel about Scorpio? I don't know why I'm seeing like a one-way road. Um, Someone could live on a one-way street, uh, buy a one-way street. Um, But... Again, like maybe someone was just worried if it was unrequited love because so far there hasn't been reciprocation, but maybe someone just needed further confirmation, further clarity, getting to know you more before they decided to pursue this further. Um, just let's see. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Scorpio right now, Spirit. Wow. I really do want us to work out. Okay. 
Interesting. I wonder if there has been a little bit of trouble within the connection going on between the two of you. I wonder if recently you guys got an argument, a dispute, a disagreement, maybe even a fight. Um, and so there has been like a little bit of rocky roads, murky waters between the two of you. Maybe you have put someone on timeout. Maybe you have been kind of distancing yourself from them, but it kind of feels like you're only doing that Scorpio just to see what they'll do with it. If they're going to try harder, if they're going to make up for it. Um, I do feel Scorpio, they don't want this to end with you. They don't want a separation. So I do feel they are going to come forward and say something like, hey, look, I messed up or that was wrong of me. I want to fix this. I want to work on this. And I think there's purpose to this. I don't feel this is a karmic yet. We'll pull tarot to clarify. But I feel that this bump in the road or whatever happened recently between the two of you was really meant to draw you guys more together, to get to know each other more, to kind of see more depth and more complexity with one another. I almost feel like, I don't know why I'm getting this energy, but it's almost like you guys weren't expecting this connection to go this far. Um, I don't know if this is someone you're not usually attracted to or, you know, they're kind of like a different type than what you usually go for. Or maybe that's how they see you. But, you know, despite the differences you guys may have in style and preferences, there's a strong attraction here. And this could be the situation of opposites attract. And maybe you guys kind of bring out that side of one another that is the best of each other or is like some sort of side that you didn't feel comfortable with expressing with anyone else. But for some reason with this person, it feels comfortable or that's how they feel with you. But someone does want to work things out. Someone does want to make this happen between the two of you. Someone wants to pursue this connection further. So let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. With the tarot, I'm going to ask how they feel about you right now. What do they think about you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? What do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to what they really want out of this connection with you, Scorpio? And what are they afraid is going to happen? Yeah, someone's kind of put someone on timeout. Someone has definitely been a little bit icier because I feel like they are owed an explanation or owed an apology in some sort of way. Um, Four of Swords came out, Libra Energy. But I'm going to pull out all the cards first and then kind of show you right when they're all pulled. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Tell me more. Mm, yeah. A lot of fire. Wow. Okay. Whew. Scorpio, let's talk about it. So, bottom of the deck, we have the Strength card, Leo energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. Does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. People like to hear the astrological signs. So, yeah, with this at the bottom of the deck, I do feel, I feel pressure. And I feel that someone was feeling the pressure to do more to put more effort forward, but for some reason they were holding back. For some reason they just didn't feel like it was the right time to come forward with their feelings, to ask you for a commitment, to take things further. But that holding back really bit them in the ass, quite frankly, because it gave you the message that they're not willing to do it. They're not willing to put in the work. They're not willing to put in the effort. And that kind of just really quite frankly, pissed you off, Scorpio, and you don't want to get stung by a Scorpio. The scorpion sting kind of hurts, and that's what they're kind of feeling right now. Um, now, for others of you, if that's not so much the case, I'm also feeling an energy here with the strength card that if there has been a bit of silence or there has been a bit of tension between the two of you, um, for whatever reason, someone, this is kind of correlating with this card here of I really do uh, want us to work out. They want to hold on to this. They want to improve the situation between the two of you. And I feel that if there has been silence, they've just been trying to think of a way of how to fix things, how to mend things. Maybe they're building up the courage to owe you an apology to kind of, you know, recuperate, recharge, 
get into more clarity and then approach you with the honest truth. Um, you know, I, I think that maybe there was some sort of ego that was in the way of you two kind of being in union or from them to really show themselves. They had some sort of pride that was preventing them from, you know, being their true selves in front of you. And that kind of really turned you off because you feel the energy, you feel the chemistry, but there was just something they weren't willing to compromise before that, you know, you were like, fine, I'll make the choice for you then, <laughs> you know, fine, I'll just pull back, I'll just end this, um, maybe you guys met at a gym, or someone lives by a gym, goes to the gym quite frequently, um, just something I'm putting out for someone out there, I kind of want to clarify the strength card, someone could recently have gotten a uh, you know, highlights or went blonder or went lighter with their hair color or is thinking of doing that. Tell me about the strength card. That was in the background energy that's led up to this point, spirit. Five of pentacles, not doing enough. That's all I need. And then the four of wands. Yeah, you know, I feel Scorpio, they kept on giving you these mixed messages, especially with this combination here. You know, and again, I feel it does come out of pride. Maybe they were afraid, and I see this with the Three of Swords where we're going to go into in just a second. Uh, they're afraid you were going to break their heart. They were afraid you were going to leave them before they left you. Or, you know, that maybe they were kind of, they were afraid of getting their feelings hurt, which is associated with their pride. So, like, there was times where they kind of just left you hanging, um, you know, left you on red wouldn't respond for a few days, kind of making you wonder if there was anything there, if they still like you. And then they pop up at different times, four of wands, Aries energy, where everything was great. You know, you felt this passion. You felt like you guys had a lot of fun on certain dates. You guys, um, you know, traveled to a certain location that was relatively near the both of you. Like, I don't know, like a cabin area, uh, maybe you guys got an Airbnb I'm kind of picking up on and those trips were really fun. Um, maybe you guys just went on a really amazing date and then all of a sudden they went cold. Like they just kept on giving you this mixed thing and I think they were just trying to test you out, Scorpio. But that's not how you play at all. You are straight up. You are honest. You don't like to play those games. And I think that's why you kind of silenced someone out because they weren't giving you certainty. They weren't giving you anything that made you feel like it was you know, something that they want. You could have gone camping with this person. I'm seeing like a bonfire or a pit fire too for someone. They could have that at their home. But that was enough to kind of piss you off. So let's get into it. How they feel about you right now is the four of swords. Libra energy. So yeah, they get a silence from you. They get a distance from you. They know that they've kind of annoyed you, if not just totally pissed you off. They know they're kind of in timeout, but they want to come out of timeout. They don't want to be in no connection with you. They want to work on this. They have been trying to, I don't know, for some of you, they've been trying to lure you back into communication, whether it's liking your pictures, commenting on your pictures, but you're like, that's, that's not how the way to get back in. You need to be straight up with the point. Let's get to the situation. Let's talk it out. Um you know, just liking my pictures or just trying to get my attention in a subliminal way is not going to work with me. Someone could be a nail biter, quite on, like they have that habit of biting their nails. Um, but yeah, I, I think Scorpio, they feel a little bit nervous if it, the nail biting is not so literal. They feel nervous by this like silence coming from you. Um, and they want to kind of come out of this, definitely. Because what they're thinking about this connection with you or thinking about you is the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. So yeah, they know they have to do more. They get it now. They know they can't, you know, do anything half-assed with you. It's not going to fly. It's not going to work. Um, you know, I even get for some of you, the fight or the tension or whatever kind of caused you to pull away was like they bailed on plans with you, bailed to hang out with you, um, a date with you that you were really excited for. And that was kind of the last straw for some of you or bailed on some sort of plan that they set up with you. And I think they regret it now. 
why they bailed. I think it had to do with something that, um, I don't know if it was a way to, something came up, uh, but I think that wasn't a real excuse because whatever this is, whatever I'm feeling right now, it was something where it's like, you could have rescheduled that. You know, and so it kind of made you wonder, like, if they really did want this or if they are just trying to play games with you. Um, there wasn't enough. And maybe that's why the one way street kind of come up, came up because of the six of pentacles being the issue. So I do feel, Scorpio, the good news about this is that they recognize now that they have to do more, that they need to do more. So, you know, I think by the end of April, they're planning a comeback. They're planning to explain themselves. I do think during this time of you cooling them out or just not giving in, they've reflected a lot about their ego and what they've allowed to kind of override their reactions and their responses in this connection and how that has kind of sabotaged it. But they know there has to be a give, an equal give and take with you, period. So what they like the most about you, Scorpio, is the Page of Swords. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is kind of what I get from this card here. You're just not letting them know you're thinking about them. You're not letting them know that it's been on your mind. It looks like you're distracted. It looks like you're doing your own thing. You're not giving them attention. You're not giving them conversation. And that's kind of what is intriguing them, wanting to go after you. Someone could have bangs, um, side sweat bangs, a shag haircut type of thing. Um, but they also like that they have access to you. You haven't blocked them yet for a lot of you. I don't think, and if it is a block and you're over it again, I don't think this reading's for you. But it's like, I wonder if you guys have been posting thirst traps. And what a thirst trap is, is like a selfie that is very sexy. You know you're feeling yourself. You know you're going to get some reactions to it. And you wanted to catch their attention and it absolutely worked if you guys were in the thirst trap zone, right? Posting those, they noticed it, it turned them on, intrigued them, they get it, they they know that you're kind of wanting to reel them in. I feel that for a lot of my scorpions. Um, now others of you, let's be honest here, it's like you're not communicating with them, but they see that you're checking their stories. They see that you've been on their social media, that you've looked at their Snapchats. And that kind of gives them hope that, you know, it's not all the way done with you, that you are kind of curious about their life. And that is kind of exciting them about this, that they didn't completely screw it up with you. And there is a chance. Someone loves someone's body here. Whatever it is, if it's thin, if it's thick, if it's curvy, if it's muscular, someone absolutely loves the other person's body. And they love to see you naked. If they have it, they can only imagine. What they don't like about you, Scorpio, is the high priestess. Pisces energy, cancer energy here. For me as a reader personally, I'm not surprised to see this with my Scorpios. They can't read you. They can't figure you out. You're just a mystery to them. You're a puzzle to them. It's like a Rubik's Cube. Once you think you got one side, you didn't get the other side at all. Um, and it's like they wonder what you're feeling right now, what you're thinking right now. If you're thinking of getting back, if you're not, they just don't know how to read your messages. They don't know how to read your silence. They don't know even when they were talking to you, they couldn't get a read on you. And that kind of annoys them. Maybe because they read other people pretty well, but with you, it's trickier. It's difficult. Now, if there was like an argument, tension, you guys were mad at each other. I do feel with the high priestess here, that spirit is trying to tell them to kind of step it up. There's been certain reminders of you that they've been, you know, unable to escape. Whether it is like, you know, on an iPhone, you see memories and it's the pictures you guys used to take, or if it's like seeing your name, um, you know, your account popping up and their notifications type of thing. There's something that spirit is kind of trying to send a message out to them 
that when they're trying to, you know, close you off, trying to play tit for tat, it isn't working. And there's still some sort of draw and pull towards you, Scorpio. But a lot of you two are intuitive, even psychic. They can't pull anything with you. They can't, you know, deceive you and deceive you, excuse me. And maybe that's why the sidestepping kind of annoys you because you already pick up on it. <laughs> they know that. They know they can't fool you. They know you sense things out. You feel things out. And your intuition is mostly right most of the time. So what they like the most about this connection is the two of wands. Aries energy. Now, there's two twos here. So you guys could be seeing 222 two, two quite frequently. Um, your birthday could be November 2nd, November 12th, uh, perhaps October 22nd for someone out there. Um, but yeah, what they like about this connection was the immediate pull to one another, the passion for one another, the draw towards one another. Um, I'm seeing someone playing footsie under a table at a restaurant could mean something to someone. Um, but you guys, it's almost as if like when you are talking and when everything is good, there is excitement of when to see you again. There is excitement in taking you out or, you know, going on a date with you or having you come over to their house, you bring a lot of excitement into their life. I think they find you to be extremely physically attractive. Um, and they can't keep their hands off you, Scorpio. Like whether they have to touch your lower back, your thigh, put an arm around you, hug you, you know, they just can't keep their hands off you because it's like the draw towards you that you do effortlessly by the way someone could be in um you know the culinary career someone could own a restaurant food truck um you know it could be a chef a waitress um uh, hostess whatever right for someone but yeah the the chemistry is strong stronger with you than anyone recently and anyone before What they don't like about the connection is the Ace of Wands. More fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So, okay, for those of you where you guys got in a disagreement or a tiff or a tension, something happened, um, the spark hasn't happened yet, you haven't given in, you haven't reached out, asking them, asking them on a date to re-spark that fire, to re-spark the connection. Um, that's obvious right here for someone you know, I'm kind of picking up on a situation that happened in the past where they wanted you to stay the night or they wanted to stay the night and you turned them down. You just got up and kind of left and they were really bothered by that. But I think it's because they annoyed you. Um, you know, you, they, you didn't stay the night or whatever for someone that's still kind of stinging in them somewhere. Others of you... Um, you know, with the Ace of Wands being what they don't like about the connection, I kind of feel if it's you or them, someone here worrying if this was just all for like a good time, all for sex, just strictly sexual, no strings attached. And it's kind of wrote out what it had to write out. That's what kind of is bothering someone or maybe even someone try to pull it off that way because again of their ego or because someone hurt their feelings and they just wanted to say, well, it was whatever anyway. Don't believe that. They wanted to make you believe or you want to make them believe it was just a one-time thing um, or it's just only temporary. It's not true. I think they're just kind of in their feelings about this. Someone could also have a little bit of a temper, to be honest here. Um, or someone feels like the other person just gets easily annoyed very a lot, but maybe that's just something that needs to be healed between the two of you or addressed between the two of you to discuss. And I don't think it's been discussed. What their highest hopes are is the page of cups, water energy, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Now I kind of feel like this is both of your highest hopes for different reasons. On your end, Scorpio, again, if you're waiting for an apology, if you're waiting for them to like be sincere, 
be honest and vulnerable. Like that's kind of the energy you are really hoping and wishing for them. Um, and I kind of want to say Taurus had this card in their exact spread, in the exact position. So if you're dealing with a Taurus or if you have Taurus in your chart, I suggest checking out the Taurus reading to see if there's messages for you there. Um, but yeah, I think it's just to open up honestly, sincerely. And if someone, you know, the pride and the ego thing isn't going to fly with you anymore. Maybe it has for a while. The last thing that happened that made you kind of go ice on them. You're just hoping that it can open up again in an honest, genuine way. And they don't have to put on that front with you. It's unnecessary. On their end, with the page of cups of their highest hopes, um, you know, that not everything is kind of ruined, that you're not going to be this icy energy towards them forever. You're going to warm up. You're going to be that caring, kind person that you were when they met. Um, that this is just going to be healed between the two of you. And you're going to be open to one another again in a way where you're going to apologize. You're going to make up and just going to build from there. That's what I feel with this Page of Cups card. Deepest fears is three of swords. Libra energy. So let's get into it. Like I said, I was going to. Yeah, I do feel for some reason, Scorpio, they were afraid you were going to break their heart. And I think that's why the ego kind of was in play here. Maybe it happened to them in the past. Maybe they were cheated on before. Um, and, you know, that's always just been on their mind and always something they're suspicious of. Maybe they accused you of that and that's where you kind of like pulled away because it wasn't right. It wasn't jestful. I do get there's someone here that gets a little bit jealous um, and reacts with their jealousy. And again, I think that if that is the case, you guys meeting together is something that is meant to be healed in that, that, you know, you don't always have to be suspicious in love. You don't always have to accuse the other person when there's nothing to accuse of, even if you have been through something in the past. That isn't what is happening here. And maybe there was something around that. Um, I'm also kind of getting for some reason someone's mother doesn't like someone here. Not for everyone, but for someone. Um, but anyway, yeah, this three of swords that, you know, if you weren't, if you're not willing to work this out, not willing to give this another chance, it would break their heart. It really would. Or hurt them in a profound way where I think it would take a lot of time to get over you, a lot of time to heal from this with you because they're left with the feeling and the knowing that they just messed up. They couldn't fix this. They couldn't get over their pride in order to be led to the person that they truly are meant to have a contract with, a soulmate connection with, and they blew it and that you guys are just going to have to do this again in another lifetime. That's their fear. Wow. All right, Scorpio, to see the likely outcome of this situation, what are they likely to do by the end of the month? Are they going to fix this? Are they just going to be silent and stew in their pride? What is, what's going to happen? We're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of the situation. And I'm also going to pull Oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this connection. What is the purpose? Is there anything else you need to know about this person in this situation for your better understanding? If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, Open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Scorpio, I really hope that this is giving you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what's happening in your love life right now or what will happen. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Scorpio, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Scorpio.